Manufacturers are starting to try and diversify from the stock SUV shape and come up with some low-slung alternatives, such as the Polestar 2 and Cooper's Fermentor estate on stilts. DS Automobiles too have attempted this with the DS4, the model which uses the latest design updates within the DS range. It's also got a new interior design and a new infotainment system. From the petrol hybrid, petrol and diesel powertrains available, today we're testing the 1.2 PureTech 130 automatic. It's the petrol hybrid 8-speed and it's in pearlescent white with a tax of 140 a year. Standard equipment includes front and rear parking sensors, a reversing camera, emergency braking systems, you've got traffic sign recognition, speed limit recognition, driver attention alert, cruise controls, rear cost traffic alert, and a whole host of safety features. The DS4 now has the latest tech from the DS7 with a much improved interface and driver assist system. The centre console is laid out quite well, the touchpad is responsive, there's a convenient place for your phone and they've hidden the cup holders which is nice from a design perspective but it limits the size of cups you can use. There's a row of physical buttons for climate control but unfortunately they don't adjust the temperature or fan speed. Passenger space is average in the rear and you can fit two adults comfortably, but any more than that will make it a tight journey. The raised seating position does help create a little more space under the front seat backs for feet and again the headroom is limited due to the tapered rear. The infotainment uses a 10 inch central touchscreen with an accompanying 7 inch digital gauge cluster. Higher trim levels get a head up display projected onto the windscreen and this is done in a way so as not to distract the driver too much. The gauges can be configured by cycling through selections and layouts on the gauge cluster and head up display via the column stalks. The graphics are wide and clear, navigating some menus and selecting functions could be simplified though. The DS Smart Touchpad on the transmission tunnel for shortcut options includes anything from your home destination, favourite radio station, a most called number or even heated seat controls. It's another way to access the functions but it's slightly more distracting than simply using the main screen. You can configure the home screen to display both sat-nav and aircon controls and if you want you can still use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The configurable shortcuts on the touchpad are handy but some physical buttons would still be great to have on the dash. DS eToggle is a compact control for the auto gearbox and it's located on the centre console. Gear changes can also be done manually with the paddles fixed behind the steering wheel. And you've also got electric driving modes, you've got a sport mode, you've got a hybrid mode, and you've also got comfort mode. The electric mode, always selected by default, enables you to reduce the petrol consumption. In hybrid mode, you can automatically switch between 100% electric or 100% petrol. You can also combine the two if needs be. Comfort mode is based on the hybrid mode and it activates the DS Active Scan suspension to adjust instantly how hard or soft the suspension is depending on the road. It guarantees maximum comfort and as this is a French car, it accomplishes that quite well. Lighting the way ahead is the DS Matrix LED Vision. The projector headlamps adapt to traffic conditions, the steering wheel angle, speed and weather conditions with five preset modes. You've got city, country, motorway, inclement weather and fog. They enable you to drive constantly on main beam without ever dazzling other road users. Using the camera located in the top part of the windscreen, the intelligent headlamps adapt their beam automatically with a range of 300 meters. and the window edge starts above the passenger's shoulder line. It gives a cocoon-like feel to the cabin. 
You've also got sliding rear seats and the variable boot floor also is a clever feature which adds to passenger comfort. The driver has excellent visibility. The thin pillars make it easy to see around at junctions. Rear visibility is limited however due to the tapered rear and the large B pillars restricting the view and the look over your shoulder but fortunately all versions get the rear parking sensors and a rear view camera to help with these parking manoeuvres. So the DS4 performance line has an exterior trimmed in black. You get strips between the rear lights, grill, side window frames, you've got a distinctive black alloy wheel as well as an exclusive interior. got wide swathes of Alcantara covering the dashboard, the doors and the whole centre console. The DS4 has been clearly intended to stand out with its quirky design. It's an alternative choice to the most German of autobound cruisers and it's relaxed in its delivery of B-roll foam.